Hi all! Today we would like to share about the green extraction technology and our mini project task for subject phytopharmaceutical technology. This is our group members which consists of Nur Humaira, Rosmela Majus, Siti Kairo Natasha and Nur Alia. First, we want to share about what is green extraction. The extraction of natural products was considered clean when compared to the heavy chemical industry, but researchers found that its environmental impact is far greater than first appeared. Generally, green chemistry is invention, designs, and application of chemical products to reduce or eliminate the use and generation of hazardous substances. Thus, this definition is modified as green extraction is based on discovery and design of extraction process which will reduce energy consumption, allows use of alternative solvents and renewable natural products, and ensure a safe and high quality of product. To demonstrate green extractions of laboratory and industrial scale, there are three major solutions that have been identified to approach optimal consumption of raw materials, solvents, and energy. They are improving and optimization of existing process using non-dedicated equipment, innovations and process of procedures, but also in discover an alternative solvent. Next, we move to the six principles of green construction. Example is production of artemisinin tablet which requires Artemisia NOL. Active substance is extracted from the aerial part of this plant which having concentrations of only 0.01 to 0.05%. Extracting this active substance turned out to be very costly due to low concentrations in the plant. Therefore, an alternative to make this plant abundant is through plant milking, which plant will be grown in a greenhouse in a liquid medium with the same standard of extraction and purification, and this method allows harvesting three times more than field-grown plants. Examples are maceration of herbs and spices in cosmetic industries uses glycerol as biosolvent. Fermentation of sugar beet and cereals uses ethanol and microwave hydrofusion and gravity extract essential oils, colors, and antioxidants without solvent. Hydro distillation for extracting essential oil requires high energy for heating and cooling. Therefore, when process is conducted under moderate pressure, distillation time is reduced by a factor of 2 or 3. With this, consumption of steam is reduced, so does energy consumption. Hello, my name is Siti Natasha and I will talk about the principles. So with the fourth principle is production of crop product instead of waste water to include the bio and agrarian industry. Industrial process of extraction products can produce other material which are byproduct, crop product and waste. So what are byproduct, crop product and waste? Waste is an any material that industry has the only choice to eliminate by waste disposal center incineration of landfill. Byproduct is a residual product that appears during the extraction process. 
This is it is unintentional and unpredictable, but it can be used directly or be an ingredient in another production process. And co product is a material intentional and inevitable created during single manufacturing process and at the same time as the main product. So what is biorefinery? Biorefinery is a facility that integrates biomass conversion process and equipment to produce fuel, power and value added chemicals from biomass. With this new strategy plants that are made up of an enormous number of substances can be refined, which each constitu constituent of the plant can be extracted and functionalized to produce green fuels, building materials and etc. For example, example of biorefinery, the residue from extraction of rosemary essential can be reprocessed to extract natural antioxidant. So for the fourth, for the fifth principle is reduce unit operation through technical innovations and favor safe, robust and control process. The main purpose of this principle is to reduce the number of steps in the process chain lead to a reduction in cost and better use of the energy. So the single stage process is called process of extra extraction by supercritical fluids. The now this process is a uh, minimum number of individual process operation has the advantage of using a clean solvent and also obtain an extract. Extraction by supercritical fluids often being judged as more expensive than traditional extraction process. The process itself does not involve the use of toxic solvent and represent a reduction in energy used for the extraction steps to the, to the distillation or recycling of the solvent. So for the sixth principle, which is the last principle, is aim for a non-denatured biodegradable extract without contaminant with green value. Extraction is a mixture of bioactive compounds and other substances that can affect solubility and absorption. Can consist composition of alkaloids, polyphenols, flavonoids, terpenes, and meroterpenoids, and essential. Pharmaceutical specialties based on essential oil must meet the definition of plant-based medicine and comply with the regulation governing these medicines and be registered as a traditional plant-based medicine. So the requirement of the market and regulation, the extract must meet, must meet of a number of quality criteria is, is quality criteria is, the extract must be obtained from precise identified raw material and must be inspected to define the procedure to guarantee their naturalness, precise physical chemical properties and be properly stored, the geographical origin and the environmental condition under which raw material was obtained and the extract should be free of all pollutants such as pesticide, residue, heavy metal, mycotoxin and etc. So okay, if you see below there are a diagram. That diagram is a life cycle analysis LCA. LCA is based on concept of sustainable development and providing an effect and systematic means of assessing the environmental impact of the product and the service of a process. The PFT shows a drying system employed in food industry which uses SPD method. Sometimes, the compressed air could be used as a pressurized agent for the multi-cycle SPD equipment. Since the process occurs in a short duration of time, 
the cooling rate can reach up to 1,500 kilowatt per meter square. Saturated steam injected at high pressure was applied to the sample where it is initially placed under vacuum. This step involves vapor condensation and product heating where the moisture content of the product increases. The initial vacuum ensures rapid contact between the steam and the sample, consequently improves heat transfer. Next, the abrupt dropping of pressure towards the vacuum results in an auto evaporation of water within the product, which produces an amount of vapor at a significant mechanical stress enabling the product to be expanded. The auto evaporation of water ensures rapid cooling, which prevents the thermal degradation of product. The advantages of this method include having reduced energy costs, low extraction and heating time, and environmental friendly where waste and hazards are reduced. This method has given significant results mainly in terms of increasing product yield in pharmaceutical, food, and agriculture. Listed in the slide are the five breakthroughs of implementing ICD methods.